Hey guys, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today, Jump Story is back on a lifetime deal and I wanna give you a quick update of Jump Story. Now, I already made a video of Jump Story and you can check the link down in the description. This is mostly on what's new in Jump Story. So this is the deal that's going on right now. It's $99.99 dollars and you get the whole thing, right? You get the lifetime deal of 20 million authentic and professional photos that they keep updating and you can search around you get 500,000 professional videos that you can search around and use. Um, 500,000 videos is not actually a lot. You'll find that some categories you won't find any videos, so just consider that. If your main focus is videos, then just consider that you won't find a whole lot of videos. All right? You got illustrations, vectors, icons, and the length of the deal is lifetime, so you pay once and you use it forever. It's an uh, alternative to Shutterstock, Photo Deposit, and what I mean that it's an alternative, which is an ex inexpensive in alter in an alternative that's only 99 bucks, 100 bucks for a lifetime. Um, software version 1.0, um, Stack Social, Stack Social just uses that term, but it doesn't mean that 2.0 is not gonna be uh, available or you won't have it in a lifetime, you will get it. Um, updates included, you can see it right there, right? Um, also things that you should consider when you buy it on Stack Social, make sure that you actually want to buy the product because the refund process just really sucks. Basically, there's no refund process. So you buy it and that's it, you can't refund it, right? So make sure that you like it, try their, their free trial, go around with it. And like I said, let's try out the new thing. So what's new in Jump Story that I didn't cover on my last video? Well, it's edit images. So now Jump Story has this feature where you open an image and you can actually do some editing on it. So you have these like things, how to use the image editor, uploads and edit, remove background. So if you have a background that I've tested, for example, when they have a plain background, you can remove the background. Um, when you have some glacial blur, you can also remove that background. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So let's go into search and let's just search for something like dogs all right let's go now oh, it's actually a dog right and let's find some images right here and for example all right we've got this one with a plain background right so it's just plain white now heads up the, the background is white and the dog is actually white so this might even be a tricky one but let's just test it out the whole point of this is to let you know what's available and what's capable with these new tools did you see i just opened the the image and i opened the background remover so there you go, it actually did a pretty good job. I think there was nothing here. Let's just check out the original image, but now it's transparent. Yeah, looks right. Let's find another one. For example, let's grab, let's try another one with the, I don't wanna use white because it doesn't look, there we go, this one. Black on black. So the background is kinda of glacial, it's, it's uh, no, it's a diffused blur. So let's see how good of a job it's going to do. And there it is. We got a plain image, right? And we can download it with the transparent image. Sorry, transparent. Yeah, transparent image on the background. Um, now I wanna show you how it will look in an image that has a glacial blur. Let's just check this one out. This one doesn't have glacial blur, so I don't think it's gonna do a good job and I kinda understand why. Oh, it actually did remove it, all right? So I'm surprised there. Um, if you get a, a more complex image like, let me see. So these ones. So basically what you don't see here is the depth of field. That's what it's called. When you see the whole thing in one single vision. So let's see right here, remove background. I'm actually trying to find images that won't really do a good job on the removal. Wow, um, I I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm trying to find something that it won't remove because I want to show you. Um, let's something more complex, um, streets. All right, let's go to streets and oh, this, right? There's, there's actually nothing here, but just wanna show you what it would do in this type of situations. Let's do that. And see, see what it does? So when the image is kind of complex, like this one, it doesn't have um, an objective, right? There's no single object or something like that to remove. That's what it's going to do. So in this case, let's just say if it does the removal on this one. Next thing I wanna show you is the editor of this. Oh, wow, wow. So basically, even the shadows, it captured it. So it did a fine job for me. Now, take in consideration, I'm not thinking about what to look. I didn't test this before, and I just wanna show you how that looks. So let me grab this one right here. Oh, 
I didn't want to click on that. Hold on. Just wait for it to open. And optimize for web, edit image. So we got this other option that's edit image. And this is not something that was available last time. So let's just see. And you got a bunch of tools right here. So you got your filter right here if you want to use these. Um, I find myself, oh, it actually applies all of them. Oh, so you can apply it on top of it. Um, I find myself, I don't use this actually, but I mean, it's there, it's available. Maybe you just want to do a black, gray scale, black and white and you got that option, right? Next thing you have is the resize option. So you can do it by percentage or the width and height. So maybe you have a website and you need a certain width and height of that image, then you can do it right there. Now, what's going to happen if I reduce it to 1000? Does it let me choose where to place this or is it just going to reduce the whole size? Hmm. Let's go back. I didn't see changes there. Oh, but it actually zoomed. Oh, well, that's crop. Resize. Oh, so it did a did it really resize or not? 1000 by 75. Oh, so it uses the same dimensions. So it doesn't crop it, not this one. It just changes the size. So instead of being the original pixel size, it just reaches it. So crop. Crop would be the one. So for example, if you're gonna use it for a YouTube video thumbnail, that would be 16 by 9. And you can use a square one for Instagram, for Facebook, just depending on the, the size that you want. So uh, let's just crop it for Facebook. Let's go. We can also transform. Oh, see that? So you can flip it around, flip it that way, flip it that way also. Oh, interesting. All right. Next thing we have is the draw button. So hey, you can draw an arrow right there. Hey, that's what you got to look at. Next thing we got is text. So you got text, you got some fonts available. All right, you got all those fonts. Cool, interesting. Um, these are really helpful if you just don't wanna go out on another software, download it and do something else. Um, shapes, put in some shapes. There, maybe you could do that there. You put some text on it and you got an image editor actually. You got some basic shapes right there. You got some stickers, um, landmarks. Okay, there we go. So you got more. Okay, you got landmarks. Go back. You got frames. If you want to add some frames, there's some frames. Let's cancel that. Uh, rounded corners. I like that for my images on websites. Uh, more of a round corner guy. I don't like it to be squared. So now I turned the, the background of those corners into transparent. And if we want to color the background, we can do that there. So remember those transparent corners? Now they're, I'm gonna turn it red so you can see it even bigger, all right? So it turned red. So those are the new tools that have been added to Jump Story from the last time they ran a lifetime deal. I think it was nice just to just give you a little heads up of, of what's possible now with these and tell you about the lifetime deal that's available. If you guys wanna grab the lifetime deal, the link is in the description. The link is an affiliate link. If you guys want to grab it, I get a small commission. It won't cost you a single cent more. And this video is just to show you what's that capable of. There's a whole bunch of things that you can find on Jump Story, especially in searches. And I mean, if you like it, grab it. If you don't, don't. Remember, make sure when you buy from Stack Show Show that you're actually ready to buy it because they don't have a refund policy. So just be aware of that. Thank you guys for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. See you guys later.